In the last tutorial, we had just set up a nice totals query, and we can see the results here. Now, what we've got is we've got different average, mins, and max results coming out. But if I look at the different types of field names, they're not hugely user-friendly. First of all, they're using the naming convention, basically taking exactly what the field names from my database was and using it as the actual column names in my Dynaset. And also, any of these aggregate queries, it kind of puts together a, a makeup kind of name using the shortcuts, abbreviations, and things like that, and it's quite hard to read. So what I'd like to do is get back into the actual query design and just have control put in something that's a little bit more uh, user-friendly and a little bit more obvious of what the actual columns mean. So I'll flick back here into design view. And the trick here is I can't delete these field names here. But what I can do is I can get in and I can just write in before them the actual name or column title that I want. So in this case, it might be average review. And just make sure that we put in a colon after that. And we can leave then the actual field name of the database there as well for access still to go and run the query on that field name. So average review, colon, let's run that and let's see if it picks it up. And we can see there it's done that. And let me just fill out quickly all the others. And I filled that out for all of the other fields with just more meaningful type of text. When I run that query, we can see something that looks quite tidy for anybody who's not the database designer or database administrator. So that's how to rename columns in a query in Access 2013. Don't forget to like and share this video if you found it useful.